The backer panel is made up of two waterproof elements, a closed cell extruded polystyrene insulation and a high impact polystyrene skin bonded together. There is a skin overlap to identify the bottom of the panel. This should always be placed at the bottom. The panel may not be 100% square, so should be aligned using a spirit level on the rib and not on the top or side of the foam panel. It's available in 17mm, 25mm and 50mm thicknesses, which can be layered to provide thicknesses of 75 or 100mm insulation. Firstly, cut the board to size, so the lowest course of slips can sit on the trim. To line up the first panel, use a spirit level on the rib to align with the edge of the wall. If the second panel is along the wall from the first, use a spirit level to align through the two panels. When around the corner from the first panel, align using corner bricks top and bottom. Fit the panels with two or three fasteners in each until you reach the end of the elevation or come to the first natural break such as a door frame or expansion joint. It's important to fix only as much panel to the elevation that can be bricked in a day. Put in the rest of the fasteners, except the lowest two runs. There should be four across the width of the panel and one in every fourth course vertically. It's vital that the correct number of fasteners are put in. These should be tight enough to pull the washer flush with the board, but not so tight that they distort the rib. Slot the supporting base edge trim in at the bottom of the panel. Remember, expansion joints must be built into the system every six meters or every five panels on longer elevations to allow a complete break in the panel and the brick slips. Seal the joints between the panels either with adhesive or tape supplied. The adhesive is one part polyurethane or MS polymer based. Please avoid skin contact as it may stain. Insert the tube into the applicator gun and cut the nozzle to size to achieve a 10 to 12 mm bead of adhesive. Keep the gun clean and disassemble at the end of each work period to avoid clogging. Start by applying adhesive to corner bricks while they lie on the ground and then put them in place or apply the adhesive directly to the panel. The backer panel and slips must be dry and dust free to ensure good adhesion. You only need to apply one bead of adhesive near the top of each course. Stick two courses of slips on at mid panel height and continue to the first natural break or expansion joint to set out the perp joints. Mix bricks from different boxes throughout the installation to ensure an even blend of color and size. Use a marker pen and spirit level to mark the panel with vertical lines showing alignment of the perps. Then fill in the brick slips, making sure they are correctly seated into the adhesive. Directions for mixing are on the bag, but it should be a thick cream consistency. Not too stiff to bag and not too runny to pipe into the joints. Ensure the brick joints are properly filled to avoid having to refill when tooling. Knocking down or striking the joints shouldn't be done too early. The shine or wetness should have disappeared from the mortar surface, but it shouldn't have set. Use a pointing tool to achieve a consistent bucket handle finish. The time it takes for the mortar to dry will vary with the kind of brick used and the weather conditions. Work in fixed areas, such as between joints, to avoid changes in mortar colour along the wall. It's also best to start pointing early in the day to ensure you have enough time to get the area completed and finish striking before the mortar dries out. Brush down the finished brickwork when the mortar has set and before it has completely dried. Use a medium bristle brush across the mortar joints to avoid brush marks or pulling the mortar away from the brick edge.
panels must be leveled individually and relative to each other using a spirit level on the rib. Fasteners must be installed four across each board and every fourth course vertically. Joints between panels must be sealed. Expansion joints must be cut in every six meters or so. Mark perp lines on panels when first two courses have been spaced out. Apply correct amount of adhesive to dry panel and fix dust-free brick slips. Pointing mortar must be applied to fill the joints properly. Tooling must not be rushed or finish will be poor. Start this only after the surface wetness or shine has disappeared. This installation video aims to provide a brief overview. Please refer to our installation guide for more detailed information or contact us to attend one of our training courses. See www.eurobrick.co.uk